I'm just going to tell you the date. I'm not sure there's a date. Yes, 13th of August 2012. Subject updating rebook. So I've contributed to so many things. Just to give you reassurance that I am I am on the ball. So it's address hello love. Hello love. Manager and whatever talk, I guess. Today all staff will be giving your chapters to digest. So it's mini, mini, whatever her name is pronounced. I'm not sure. Kong Bea. Stacy and I are having a meeting to discuss research and design a program of how we can undertake this project and how we can include the whole team. My outcome will be supporting my own nursery actions in line with the SEF and I shall be documenting our findings and evaluations. You, Minnie, will be given two weekly updates from Mervy Lee, my EYFS coordinator, and of course myself in person. Today, letters will be given out to parents. Warm regards, Julie. Many thanks. Yeah? So when I went to Big Child Kill, leave Big Child Kill conversation on the 19th of September 2015, I met upon many. Yeah, as you can see, this was 2012, 2019 now. So I was saying about going to my Open University annual lecture or something, on, and sh she wanted to know if she could come or attend. So this is her giving my, my, me her email address. And as you can see, it's still on Westminster Children's Society note paper. Right, so I need to get the other one down. And I'm not going to read through all of them. I'm just documenting. But these are the main points to show you how I have not changed. It is June O'Sullivan who has changed. So this is an outline of the book, which I'm not going to read. Yeah? Can't read everything. I'm just documenting things because see even the battery is going down. So here you have nursery practical example re required for book. Chapter 2, Roast You Are. I hope I'm saying it right. Chapter 3, Four Bell. Chapter 4, the, the Macmillan Sisters. Chapter 5, PRJ. Yeah? See how confident I, I am with the PRJ? I don't know much about Roast You Are. Well, I know about Fro Bell and the Macmillan sisters. But the most I, the, I know more about PRJ. He's common. Right. So here you see, on this one now, it's to do with bird in the bush. Look at the date, 28th of the 11th, 2014. And these can be considered as threats. Yeah? If you are not coming into work due to sickness, I was on sick leave. So when this was done, when this incident with the towel occurred, I wasn't at work. I was on sick leave. But of course, they have to band everybody into it. If you are not coming into work due to sickness, you need to inform me, Nicola or Sao, via phone, email or text. If you are if you are or are not returning to work the next day, you need to notify the nursery before 4 p.m. so that we can accordingly. Failure to do so will result in disciplinary action. Yeah? You see how quick the disciplinary? Who was copied in? Hilda Miller, Rashid Iqbal, June O'Sullivan. I don't need to read the rest of it. I'm just catching this and she Focusing on the main points. Yeah? So here is this. There's another thing now. So I think I copied this because this is from a book that I was given at Luton Street. This book has been bought just for you. I'm not going to read that either. So here is what Jonah, um, Lynn Kelly wrote. If you remember our latest Ofsted, the inspector commented that she had never come across such a strong team who treated each other with respect. 
And lately, I have observed staff speaking to each other in a tone that is unacceptable and will no longer be tolerated. Yeah? I'm not reading the rest. I'm just showing you. Yeah? I'm just showing you the tone. Yeah? Because she's saying tone that is not tolerated, but at the same time, she's issuing threats of disciplinary. Yeah? So is that double standards or what is it? I don't know. So let me get on with it. Right, so when I was going through my trials and tribulation, I'm just going to read a little bit from one of my key children. She's now a, a published author and have her own website and here I am. Breakdown after breakdown, I'm, I've developed an eating disorder and whatever. I'm not sleeping. I'm just not. I'm just barely existing the past seven years. Okay, so I'm just going to read what, where it's important to me. Okay. Dear Mervilly, Mom gave me the phone to tell you something from the deepest depths. Of my heart in brackets not for real and a smiley face that you are the person who taught me good manners to make friends and to say what you believe in I am turning 11 in three days my birthday wish will be for you to have a great life and that you succeed in whatever you are doing stay strong you are a soldier with no armor except for knowledge use it wisely or you will be get beaten up by the big bully who has all the armor and weapon weapons but no knowledge i miss you so much p.s i did not quote i did that quote on the spot best wishes melissa shabani yeah i'm just trying to tell my story what has happened to me since the death of my mother that put me here yeah right so this is amendments yeah amendments to Appendices reinvestigation in meeting. So I'm not going to read it as I said. I'm just tracking whatever I need to track. I can't read everything. So here it is. I'll read the head, the head, the headlines. Appendices reinvestigation meeting. Appendix one, page one, lights. Appendix 2, page 2, send concern and IEP. Appendix 3, page 3, banana incident. Appendix 4, page 3, being responsible. And I'm sure you have listened to what I said about who is being responsible. Appendix 4. No, Appendix 5, page 3, Thursday incident. Appendix 6, other issues. Yeah? Yours truly, Mervilly Myers, FD Open Nursery Officer, 21st of March 2015. Yeah? So here it is. That was me making my amendment. I just don't accept anything anybody does per se because I am the one who always come out worse for wear so i make sure anytime anything is not clear i clarify so all right the next one i'm looking at i'm not reading either did it go all out <laughs> okay it went all out so this is as you can see i've put in pen on top Darren Mahan and uh, this is see my address I phoned to, somebody phoned today about my computer and the person was getting in a strop because he can't find my address is 16a to 16b and I'm telling him no I am no I won't be accepting that I did not put that as my address that is not us my address is causing me concern so this was when it all started. Leaf tampered with my data. And down to today, I'm having problems. So as all I'm reading from this, it's invitation to a disciplinary hearing. And that's the Neil King. And that is why I'm questioning now. 
that I'm finding out about certain things. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm listening to Murder Analysis by Christina Moore. I'm listening to other things. And I, I, I'm learning about mass of sanity. Yeah? And I'm thinking, why did Neil King, in his big job, run off? Yeah? I put in for an inquiry in the early years and it wasn't done. But with what I'm finding out about pedophilia and pedophiles and how they operate, I'm having, I have a lot of questions to answer that needs answering and some of them who jump ship. Yeah, they were blogging about men in child care. Why have they jumped ship? Are children at other settings that they are now in danger? Who knows? So I'm going to try and speed up. Right, so this is the form that was filled by Dillis Ipton. Yeah, as you can see, health management. And I'm just scanning it so it's on record. Because wherever you see little signs and different colored and my writing, there are errors. So that tells me Dillis Ipton doesn't know about anything to do with employment laws, to do with the Equality Act, to do with any of the same code of conduct, anything, anything, yeah? And that's why there was so much blunder, like John Fenton, who he turned, later turns out, was not a, a lawyer, but represented them as a lawyer. So this is what I, I have done. So I need to hurry up because the battery is running down, Yeah? So I'm scanning these. Right. So the next one is 13th of April 2015. I am writing you to advise you of the outcome following the disciplinary hearing. You attended on the 7th April 2015. There again. From when? And all I'm going to... I'm not going to read everything I'm, I'm showing you the name that's attached here Rashid Iqbal he was brought in as I said on positive discrimination are there questions now that need to be answered about why he was pushed and yet he was pushed and coming to the employment tribunal as a witness line Rashid Iqbal didn't know me none of the witnesses that we're on that thing, you know, me for any length of time. Yeah? So the other one now, I am writing to advise you of the outcome of the disciplinary appeal, hearing that you attended on Wednesday the 13th of, of whatever. And I want you to look on the name on this one. Louise Cooper. Because it was only because I'm very alert to things that an article was written a bird in the bush as you can see director of business development and it was only because i was alert i came across that article yes i signed a contract yeah but after what they done to me get Bates, Wells, and bradway to continue contact me and whatever was done getting when the judgment went online getting um Twitter and Facebook legal team to contact me. I've been targeted by Facebook from the 18th of September 2019 to where I'm now wiped out. As you can see, nothing. Facebook was only trying to scam me. As soon as I put a post there, I must advertise. I have about 15 pages or 16 pages on there. They go and they select the, the, my posts that I should advertise. Why would I be advertising fingernail? Anybody who knows me know I have a fetish for fingernails. I grow fingernails. They, they, they break. I start growing again. But what I need to say again, I have that and I'm going to use the, those as a podcast. I saw a, a Louise Cooper in the Daily Express. Same finance. It's can't be two different persons. I started making queries. Like when I make queries about anything else. It's the disappearance. Alright. So this one now is. From. 
the date 21st of May 2015 from Dilly Sipton copied into Hilda Miller. Where is Hilda Miller? Was she one of the ring too? Yeah? Throw the baby out with the bath water? Yeah? You will find out more about me and her when after I went for a diabetes check she come in and ready to I don't know. So I put her in her place. Nicely. As I know how to. Respectfully. Yeah. So here it is. I'll read this one. Further to your appeal here in the results of which have been notified to you. We need to meet with you to discuss the following outcome. The medical report. The medial report. Well. Typographical error. To organize your return to work. Yeah, I don't need to read the rest. Only to say, at the appeal hearing, they claim they did not get the medical report from Dr. Laura Crawford, who sent me to occupational health them. So they had to disrupt the meeting to go read my, my, my medical report according to them. Yeah? At the disciplinary hearing, Darren Mahan had to ask questions. Was it a... Uh, discipline was it a gross misconduct or a misconduct so you see what i'm saying about yeah leaf is just a shambles and all to do with june o'sullivan mask of sanity slipped from the time she was invested with an mbe yeah so she decided whatever was in her past with her unwed mother, children. I, I, I learned these things from listening to her webinar. Whatever was in her past, she decided to become a psychopath. Yeah? I, def I find out things about her from her webinar and her, her podcast. Yeah? She wants to be a destructive influence. She was a, a former mental health nurse. So that's why my file is missing and she using it to whatever, whatever. So that's why today when I was doing um, YouTube live and I started saying things because I, I'm watching and watching professionals and whatever they're doing and using it to tie up my thingy because these things have been in my head. And when I started putting some theory out there, all of a sudden that one person who would be there from start till finish, gone. Yeah, it's got to be a reason, touch a nerve. Right, so this one is the 29th of May. Hi, Mervili. Subject, Tuesday, 2nd June at New Cross. It was good to meet with you and agree with, agree your starting date for New Cross Nursery and the arrangements for working there. I will have the notes of the meeting for you on Monday or Tuesday at the latest and will forward them to you by email. So I'm not, I don't need to read everything. I don't have spickle. I'm not eating properly and everything. I'm just showing you some of the things that's there. Yeah. And I'll put back in order because I'm going to chuck out some. And I'll need some for to use for other podcast material. Right. So this is now the 27th of June. I want this to go off. And it says, re private and confidential return to work. So this is from me to Dilly Sipton. Hi Dillis, thanks for sending me the correspondence I requested. Because of my experience at BIB, which ended up leaving me traumatized and with a record of myself that I failed to recognize, I just don't wish anything to be left to chance and I find myself in such a situation again. I, hence the reasons I'm doing, I'm dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's. I tell you how I operate and this came about because of what they done to me at King's College Hospital in HS Foundation Trust. Yeah? So I, I was making sure my mass of sanity did not slip. To where it was going to affect my disabilities and my ability to function and carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. I honestly can't 
I honestly can say I am feeling much happier in the new environment at New Cross and is looking forward to having the children starting so I can get on with the job of doing what I do best. Working collaboratively as the practitioner, as the professional that I am in the team making valuable contributions. I got home on Friday and there was a message from the NHS counsellor. I have to call her back to hear about the next steps in my consultations. We'll keep you informed as soon as I get information. Am I not the responsible person making sure I pass on information? Okay. So this is now... So this is in reverse. So this is now, I'm, I need to read this. Because some of this, that's why I tell you, some of these people do not understand English. They have English as an additional language, I suppose. Yeah? And just to put on record, I pass GCEO, le GCEO level English at going attending Manning man School evening class. Yeah? So, 22nd of June, 2015. Dear Mervely, I'm responding to the points that you raised in the email of the 14th of June. I am sorry for the delay. This woman loved to say sorry for delay. She's always delaying. In one thing that she wrote, um, she sent me, in the first paragraph, two sentences in the first paragraph. Sorry two times. Yeah? Because I tell you, this woman was being discriminated against. Yes? And that's the only reason she behaved the way she de did. I am sorry for the delay in replying, but I was on holiday. She's always on holiday. The week before last, and I am just catching up with all the emails. Yeah? So, they set your targets. You can't miss the targets, but they can do as they please. It goes up to the employment tribunal. Firstly, I have attached the notes of the meeting of the 26th of may 2015 which you had with hilda and me i am sorry here again i am sorry that these were not forwarded sooner hey do your work so you don't have to say sorry what sort of professional are you but various holidays and leave intervened if i am going on holiday and i'm going on leave and i have certain things to do they are they are sorted yeah Hmm. There were action points from that meeting to be addressed, but it was not intended that there would be a specific document entitled Return to Work as such. You see how methodical I am?